What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about creating some detailing or detailed view in our sprinkler design. So this time around, let's create a drafting view. So as you can see, that's the title of my project here. So this is our last exercise where we created the section and then create a detailed view of our uh, accessories equipment there wherein we add some tags we add some tags and then after that uh, what we are going to do is we are going to create another detailed view this time around we will be using a drafting view okay so since drafting view has something to do with view you can go to the view tab and then here you can see the drafting view Okay, so drafting view, it creates a view showing details that are not directly associated with the building model. So meaning to say, any changes that we create or we made here on our drafting view, it will not affect your main model or your 3D model and vice versa. Any changes that you made on your 3D model, it will not affect your drafting view. Why? Because drafting view, it's just a detailed view. It's just a 2D environment view. Okay, so wherein we use some view-specific detail elements such as uh, lines, uh, detail regions, detail components, insulations, uh, dimension symbols, text, reference planes. So we only use here 2D elements. That's why it's called a drafting view. So we create a drafting view if you want to create a view that is separated from the 3D model. Okay, so most of the time we use the drafting view for our detailing. Okay, so instead of, let's say you don't have the AutoCAD file that you can use to insert inside your uh, project. So you can create the drafting view and then you can use uh, 2D elements tools. Okay, so that is what we are going to do. For this one, let's say, for example, we are going to create a detail, a very simple detail of our uh, concrete pad. Okay, so that is what we are going to do. So we're going to create a concrete pad uh, drafting view. So it's just a simple detail, very simple one. I just want you to understand what drafting view is. Okay, so I'm going to select the drafting view here. So I click that one. And then right off the bat, it will ask you for the name of the drafting view that you will be creating. So let's say, for example, this will going to be our uh, concrete pad. So I'm going to type the name concrete pad. And then for the scale, so let's say, for example, I'll be using here. Uh, how about one, three fourth inch to one foot? So I'm going to select that. And then I'll just select here, OK. OK, so just in case you have uh, selected a wrong scale, you can always change it from here. OK, you can just click that one and then you can select the scale that you want here. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do, since this is just a concrete pad, what I'm going to use is I'm going to select the annotate tab. And then these are the detail tools that I'm talking about. So these are the tools that is 2D. Okay, so like your dimension here, it's just a 2D elements. So your detailing tools here, so they are just 2D elements. So meaning to say, if you create a detail line in this view, you will not be able to see that in other view. So that is what view specific elements means. So meaning to say, detail lines are only visible in the view which they are drawn. Okay, why? Because it is a view specific elements. So not only detail line, but also your region, your component, your revision cloud, your insulation, your dimension. So they are 2D elements. Okay, so I'm going to select here the region. Okay, so I'm going to select the region here. And then I'm going to select here field region. So field region, it creates a 2D view specific graphic with the fill pattern and the boundary line. A field region contains a drafting fill pattern based on the scale of the view or a model fill pattern based on the actual dimensions of the building model. So basically, field region, it's like a hatch in AutoCAD. So we're in, you need to create the boundary. So make sure it's close, no intersection, no overlapping part of the boundary. And 
you need to select there the pattern. Okay, so it's like the hatch in AutoCAD. So we call that filled region in Revit. So I'm going to select filled region. And then after that, you will be going to the modify create filled region boundary, wherein you need to create the boundary. And then these are the tools that you need to use to create the boundary. Okay, so when creating the boundary, make sure it's close, no overlapping, no intersection. Okay, and since it's just a concrete pad, so I'm just going to use the rectangle tool here. And then I'm going to pick the first point. By the way, before I pick, I can change here the line style. So instead of thin lines, so I'll be using here wide lines. And then I'm going to turn off the thin lines here. I click that one so I can see the line weight. So I'm going to pick the first point, and then I'm going to pick the second point here. So let's say, for example, for this one, I'm going to make it uh, 10 inches, 10 inches. And then for the length, so let's say uh, 12 feet, enter. All right. Okay. So after that, I need to select here the pattern. So the pattern that I want for this one is since this is the representation of my concrete pad. So I want this to be concrete. Okay. So I'm going to change that. So I do not have a concrete pattern filled region pattern here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the diagonal cross hatch and then select edit type. So I click edit type and then from the type properties, I'll just duplicate this one and then change the name to concrete. Okay, so concrete. So I now have a concrete here. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is to specify the fill pattern that is at the moment it's diagonal cross hatch. So I'm going to click that and then you see there's an ellipsis button here. You click that one to launch the fill patterns window. So I'm going to select concrete here and then I'll select here. Okay. There you go. So it's now concrete. Now I'm going to select here. Okay. You can also specify the foreground pattern color, background fill pattern, uh, background pattern color, the line weight, and then the masking. So I'm not going to modify that. I'll just select here, OK. And then after that, I'll just need to select here, OK. Check. Finish edit mode. There you go. So that's now my concrete. All right. So in case you want to modify your, your concrete here, the boundary, so all you have to do is to select that one, and then you can select edit boundary. And then you will be going back again to modify detail items, edit boundary. So you can, again, edit the boundary if you want. So let's say, oh, I want this one to be one foot. So I'll type one foot, enter, and then I'll select here, OK, and then it will be updated. All right. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a representation of an earth. OK, again, I'll be using here a region. So I'm going to select here the region. Okay, so instead of doing that, another way is just to explore, I'll try to use here detail line. So I'm going to select uh, detail line. And then after that, I'm going to use here thin lines. Okay, thin lines. And then I'm going to pick the first point here. Okay, I'll just pick just something like that. Zigzag. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to create one here as well. So I'm going to pick somewhere here. So let's say it's like this. There you go. Okay. And then I select here modify. So I'm just trying to uh, fancy here. <laughs> so I just want to use the uh, detail line. Why? Because I would like to show you here another way of creating the boundary. So I'm going to select now field region. Okay, and then this time, I'll try to use here the peak lines option to create the boundary. Okay, now I'm going to change this to invisible lines. Okay, invisible lines. So I'm going to hover my pointer here and then press tab. Click. There you go. And then I'm going to pick this one as well. Pick. And then this one, I'm going to hover my pointer, press tab, 
and then pick. There you go. And then I'm going to pick this line here. All right. And then I need to trim that because there is an excess line here. So I'm going to trim this one and then this one so that there's no excess line here. So same. Okay. So I think that's one. That's it. Now I'm going to select again the line tool here. And then again, invisible line. So I'm going to pick from here. So let's say I'll just try to make it zigzagging. Okay, just make sure chain here is checked so that you can create a series of lines here. So I'm going to pick the endpoint. There you go. Now for the pattern, instead of concrete, I want an earth. So there's no earth here, so I'm just going to select concrete. And then just like what I did a while ago, so I'm just going to select duplicate here and then change that one to earth. There you go. And then change the foreground fill pattern. So we are going to change that to where's the earth? There's the earth. So select the earth. I select your OK. And then I select your OK. There you go. So there's now the pattern. So let me just uh, finish now this one. And there you have it. So as you can see, it's invisible line there. Okay. Okay. Right. So I'm going to select this one. And then I'm just going to select uh, send to back. Okay, it doesn't show here my line. So I select uh, bring to front. There you go. So bring to front. That will bring my hatch to the front. Okay, so there you go. So basically, for example, this is now my concrete pad. So I'll just want to add here a dimension. So I click dimension. So I click first point here, second point here, and then I pick another point here. Okay, just to add some detail. So I pick another point there. All right. And then if you want, you can also add text here. And then there's the two segments. Okay, so I'm going to pick point here, pick another point, and then pick here. So this will going to be the earth. Okay, and then this will going to be my concrete pad. So let me just click this and then drag here. And then I'll click text. One segment. So I'm going to pick here. Okay. So I'll just align there. So that is now my concrete pad. All right. Okay. So basically, that's how you create your drafting view. So what I'm going to do is um, you just go to the views, and then you can go to the, uh, this is uh, mechanical. So there's the question mark. So there's a section. Where is that? There's my drafting view. So I'm going to change this one instead of subdiscipline coordination. I'm going to make that mechanical, and then for the subdiscipline, I'm going to put that under the sprinkler. Okay, so that I will be placing it here. Okay, so same with the section. So I click the section here, and then I change the subdiscipline to sprinkler. There you go. Okay, so that there's no question mark here. All right, so there's my drafting view. Okay, so that's how you create your drafting view. So we have used here detail uh, components, view specific elements. So that's is uh, th this is another way of creating your detail view by using a drafting view. All right, so hope you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Once again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.